Well, you stay here. We need an intro on this car. I don't know anything about it. Yes, you do. You know more than I do. Okay. I'll let you speak this time. I won't talk over you. I had someone what, say- Is it running already? I had someone say I talk over you. you well, you do. I mean, you, <laughs> he's like, hey guys, not standard Danner here. Here with my brother at my shop, not his shop, but he's here. Is that right? And then, I don't know. Okay, so, ah, oh, my phone's gonna ring right at the same time. Ah, oh, that phone's gonna ring all at the same time. Okay, wait. We'll just, I well, can get the answer. Just machine. roll from there. We're at Danner's shop and we have yeah. this Kia that's a friend, mutual friend. In the yeah, I know. So that my, my Bluetooth's ringing too in my ear and someone else is calling me at the same time. So okay. mutual friend um, called me and then I couldn't help him and I sent him to you and yeah. now I'm here yeah. helping anyway. <laughs> yeah. So it's a Kia with some lighting issues and go ahead. What, what, what did you okay, find? So what he said to me, I have a list over there, but he's like the rear wipers don't work, turn signals don't work, the key fob doesn't work, interior lights don't work when you open the door or unlock the car. And you know, so I confirmed, I just started with the turn signals, you know what I mean? And the turn signals go through the BCM, so I just started, did a, I did a system scan and no codes. I thought you said no com with the No BCM. codes though on any other module. Okay, no codes. And, on. But it did not see the BCM, but in the wiring diagrams, there's tons of BCM stuff, you know, and it, it's linked to a lot of stuff through can B or whatever. So all those lights, the turn signals, all the stuff you mentioned uh, is BCM well, controlled? It, there's some indirect stuff. If you look at the wiring diagrams, the BCM is in there with the Calm line, so I'm not sure exactly, but okay. I know the turn signals were, and there was another one that was. So I my pick first, one that doesn't work yeah, and I go with pick it. with the turn signal. Ah, there goes that. <laughs> that there goes that, that dodge. That tip them on yeah. the dodge. Yeah, going yeah. off. Um, so I have no communication with the BCM, even after the system scan. I went straight BCM. It just had no communication. And my question to Paul was last night when I was watching my boy play baseball, is Have you ever seen? A BCM go down and other modules that know it's supposed to be there not have that uh, communication code. Yeah, Caleb and I were just talking about that last night too. You know, so. so that's where I'm at right now. And so BCM know, no comm with the scan yes. tool, but no other codes in any of the other modules no. indicating a BCM no comm issue. Yes. And then we got all these lighting issues. Yes. And I checked, I checked the four main fuses that feed the BCM, some like memory ones, key on ones, and all that stuff. and. Okay. And the fuses were good. Now I did have a Kia one time, I can't remember what it was, but all the fuses were good, but there was a connection issue. I, when I pulled the fuse out, I was suspecting it, um, there was like weird marks on it. Like, you know, the, the fuse will like cut in sometimes and you'll see it. And it almost looked like it had been arcing in the fuse box because it was like black on the face on the terminal. And then, but I didn't go that far. Like yeah. I had one with, cause they got some weird fuses that are like recessed a little oh, yeah. bit, you know yep. what I mean? And there was like, it, the fuse wasn't blown, but it was black and you could see so it. So you just back probed them? Well, I was just checking oh, the power and it okay. was all good. And then okay. I, I pulled the fuse out. No, I, I meant on this one. And then bam, everything went up. On so this I one. I never touched anything yet with okay. that one. So, okay. Um, and you said you did? <laughs> you said you did check powers to yes. the BCM? Yes. But All I the main fuses were just good. Just the fuses. I didn't pull the, okay. find the BCM or do any back probing okay. there to see if we had like a circuit issue from a fuse box out. I didn't do that yet. Okay, so cool. That's where I'm at though. All right, sweet, thank you. See, and I let him finish. I didn't interrupt you. I think he might have one. Well, I, only to clarify a question. <laughs> Before we keep going, you should just pour water on the rest of your shirt. No, this shirt won't be as bad. Right. Why is it showing it already? <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's hot today. I'm so. <laughs> Your right shoulder. That's because I'm wiping my face with. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's like that. Yeah. Well, stop doing that. No, I can't help it. I'm a sweaty guy. Okay, that's just the way it's gonna be. Starting with this, given the, the history, we're gonna do a full system scan, see what codes we have, see what doesn't work, confirm the uh, symptom, the complaint, pull up diagrams, look and see what's involved, and uh, then we'll go from there. Yeah, no codes in the engine, transmission, ABS, airbag, electronic power steering, four wheel drive control, um, usually when you have a module on a CAN network that is not talking, we would have codes for that module 
in the other modules. There is no BCM listed here at all. So BCM did not even show up in this list. I just went right to the BCM itself. See if I have any communication. No calm with the BCM. User option module, what's that mean? To turn unlock, arm disarm by key. Uh, so some settings we can do. All right, Caleb. So we have no, just w like what we talked about last night, uh, and if you guys can't see Caleb, he's over my right shoulder in the back seat so he can see the screen. Um, we have a BCM that's not talking, right? And no faults in any of the other modules, which is unusual mm -hmm. on a CAN system. So um, I want to pull that BCM up. Let's see, let's confirm. What did he say it doesn't work? There's a list here. Horn. Horn works. Turn signals are not working. Key is on. Uh, door locks, key fob also. Let's see, door locks. Yeah, door locks are out. Interior lights are not working with the door. So the manual override works, but the door, so opening the doors isn't functioning either. Yeah. All right, so I'm with Danner on, I like the, the approach that he did starting with the turn signals. Pick something that doesn't work go from there he said rear wipers are not working let's see do we have front wipers yes front wipers work rear wipers do not interesting all right can you look in the back and tell me if this is a sport it uh an ex lx or sx if it if it doesn't say anything i'll just pick sportage just it says sportage. just sportage okay Is this a four-wheel drive or front-wheel drive? Looks like this is a base model front drive, okay. All right, Caleb. So I'm just looking at the BCM, seeing what all it controls, right? Yeah. So um, if you look at the first part of this diagram, you got tail, light, tail lamp switch, door warning switch, crash, turn signal lamp, uh, rear defogger, switch input, auto light, parking assist, rear washer, rear wiper. Remember he said the rears do not work. Front washer signal, and maybe that's the intermittent wipe. So the front ones too are on this. Hazard switch signal, let's see if the hazard lights work. They do not. But my, I'm, what I'm trying to do right now for all of you and for my son is see if there if there's anything that works on the BCM system. Yeah. The fact that the front washer signal is in here, headlight system, my headlights work too. So the BCM is not dead, Caleb. That's why we have. Hey, Danner. Yeah. This the BCM's not dead on this. Okay. That's why we don't have COM codes in the other modules. Because the headlights are on the BCM too, and my headlights work fine. Okay, so but you can't. Can you communicate with I it? I cannot. Okay. I cannot, but um, I think that might answer why we don't have yeah. no com codes in the other modules. Sure. Is the BCM's not totally dead? Okay. There's things that aren't working. We don't know why yet. Yeah, it might be a leg of one of those power feet. Maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, because because the headlights in the front, my front wipers are on there too, and they work. Okay. Headlights work. Um, navigation, headlight control, parking assist. Yeah, the door, the hazards don't work. Turn signals don't work. Um, the horn actually is working now. He says in his list that the horns are not working. Oh, okay. So front wiper control yeah so it's it's half dead it's half dead all right let's pull up a wait is there more no it's just one page a pretty basic bcm here danner so did you check these fuses the cluster fuse ignition these guys here yeah but only with like a beepy kind of like cheesy light on okay the side so i didn't check you didn't the pull and you, you didn't pull the fuses. Pull fuses i got my ass kicked on a mercedes 
that has had a bad contact on the inside yeah. of leg of the fuse. Yeah, and I had a Kia do that for me, and I can't remember what the problem was, but it was that. And like I said, it was that little burn mark when I pulled it out. I'm like, why does that look dark like that? And then just pulling it out and putting it back in, it start working. And I, I just changed the fuse at that point, but. That's where you get all those people who are like, see, you should pull the fuses. Yeah. You're like, you know how many years that we've been doing this, and that it, pulling the fuses does nothing. You know, check the back of the fuse, you're yeah. good to go. And if you got power, then yeah. you keep going. But you know, like you'll get burned sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. There's a room fuse on here too. Room lamp fuse. All right, what do you want to do, Caleb? Where do you want to start? Quit your whining. I'm not whining at all, I'm thinking. Okay. He's whining because he's sore from the gym. He can't hang with his old man. I'm not whining at all. <laughs> this is crap. <laughs> If I had a microphone, I could speak for myself. <laughs> well, I mean, we could start by looking at these fuses, right? Yeah. Um, you know, some of the stuff is working on the BCM, not all of it. Yeah. Um, it's kind of odd that we can't communicate with it with the scan tool, but the rest of the network seems to be fine with it. I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I also, you know what? We'll come back to this. I'll, let me look at the communication lines. Let's see how this BCM talks. Oh, it talks on something different. Instrument cluster is the gateway. So I'm just looking at kind of bird's eye view of this diagram. Mm -hmm. You see the orange and greens on all the other, other modules, yeah, but you see the red and the blue over mm -hmm. to the right. Mm -hmm. So the IPS control module, the smart key control module, the uh, BCM, right? Mm -hmm. And then notice the, the one different module on this whole page, which is the instrument cluster. Mm -hmm. What's different about it? It has all of those wires. Yeah, it's got the orange. And or it's got the blue, red, and the uh, green and orange comm network so that kind of tells me the instrument panel is a gateway of a type yeah it, make, make it, sense it links the whole yes thing. so it's linking the smart key control module the ips control module i'm not sure what that is offhand the bcm and then look notice it doesn't like there's no direct connection of the BCM to say the data link connector. Yeah, it goes through. It goes through the instrument cluster. Um, let me see what the other lines, these, these four, one, two, three, and four, on page one of this diagram. See all the orange and green wires? Yes. See the data link connector? Yeah. See my orange and green are can high and can low circuits? Yeah, and they go right to it. So I'm talking, my scan tool's talking on the orange and green wires, okay? Um, and for them to, for me to be able to talk to the BCM, it comes through the instrument cluster. Instrument cluster is the gateway. And that's what's connected to, that's right, the, the blue and red on the BCM. Yep, the only thing, the only hard connection to the BCM is to the instrument cluster. And then the instrument cluster is going to take, it's, it's a different network. It's a yeah. different speed. And so that's kind of what's like translating the signal. Translating the different speed signals, correct. And we can look that up to be sure, but that's what this looks like to me. So you see the PCM um, is on the direct connection. Can high, can low. See it? Orange. Oh, okay, right there. Yeah, I see it. PCM's right there. Yeah. Vacuum pump, PCM. What's it got? Two PCMs? That's weird. Oh, two different engines, two different options. Look, 2.4 and 2.0. See it? Yeah. That's why it lists two PCMs. So let's see. Oh, I lied. That green, sorry, nine and 11, I, I lied. Pin nine is a power feed. That's not a can, it would be this one. Pin three and pin 11. Oh, that green right there. Yeah, so this other green that I had highlighted, this one, it, it comes up to a fuse. That's just a power feed for the data link connector. There's pin nine. Um, three and 11 are my can. 
brown sunroof so there's other other lines in here too other lines meaning like this brown circuit some other type of communication line that's going to be for audio and sunroof motor those talk directly on the DLC but I am not worried about pins pin six but absolutely Caleb 3 and 11 let's go to the next page if this lets me thank you yeah so one two three and four so this wire mm -hmm. And this wire, leave on three and four to the next page. They come back on one and two. So they leave the page on three and four and they come back on one and two, which, where which can, go? well, it, that's what connects all these other ones. So you see the, it, it comes up, we'll cover the other page in a second. So uh, it comes over to this joint connector, comes um, over up top now, this orange, wire this joint connector up there it's nice they have those because we can you can isolate the bus when they have joint connectors like that mm -hmm. you can unplug parts of the bus which is awesome we don't have to do that in this scenario but um and then it comes down spliced depending on your engine and so there you go that's your your full network on this page and then if you look on the other page they come in on three and four yeah, I see that. So and I'm going back out on one. And then look, look what they do. Yeah, and then they go into a whole, a whole splice connector. So all of this stuff down below, all of this is all connected together. All these oranges, right? Just hit that. These are all connected, and then they come back out on one and two, and then go back and feed the other stuff. So again, what is my what is my gateway here, Caleb? And th this really honestly just comes from wire colors. I don't know what's CAN high uh, or what's high speed CAN and low speed CAN. My guess is the BCM stuff is on the low speed side of the system. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so really need to be high speed. yeah, I mean, it's just turn your headlights on, you know, you don't need like real time, you know, yeah. reaction to, Hey, turn your headlights on. I wonder what the, uh, so smart key control, I'd be interested to know if, if I have communication at all with these other modules on this red and blue network. I don't know what the IPS control module is. So IPS control module, smart key control module, and the BCM are all on that part. I'm, I'm interested to know if I can talk to any one of those. Remember that smart key control module and IPS control module. Okay. Smart key unit, see it? Yeah. Let's see if we can talk to that guy. Smart keys used for keyless entry and starting. Verify there is a push button start button on the driver's side dash or beside the shift lever. There is not. This is a turnkey one. So guess what this is not going to have? Oh, this smart key control model. It's not going to have it. Okay. In fact, it's it's going to give me a no com because it do, I don't think it exists. I mean, I could be wrong, but just based on that sentence, yeah, no com. So I can't, what I'm trying to think of is what, what else can I talk to on that network? Yeah. On the blue and green network? I'll call it a lower speed can. I don't know. I didn't do my homework fully yet. Um, and I don't think that's important. I'm just trying to see if I can talk to anything else that's on that. And I believe based on that sentence where it says is used for keyless entry and starting, verify that there's a one push start button on the driver's side dash or beside, we don't have that. And so what that means is this module probably doesn't exist. And so I can't use that as a guide and as to whether or not I can talk to another module on this system. Make sense, Caleb? Mm -hmm. What else did I say? You some, said that I, IP, um, IP, IPS. IPS. I don't, I don't even know what that is. Somebody's shouting at us on the camera right now, telling us what it is. I don't work on Kias all the time, so I'm not sure what the IPS is. I do know that the the instrument cluster is not it. 
It's weird they don't have the instrument cluster on here. It doesn't list the instrument cluster. Is that because... I don't know. I mean... It's not talking to it? Or uh, I don't know. Clearly the instrument cluster, which is that guy right there, the instrument cluster is there, yeah. right? And I would guess, and if I didn't see instrument cluster there, if I saw IPS, my first thought would be instrument panel, but clearly that's something else. And my instrument cluster is on the network, yet on this list, uh, I'm not seeing it. Smart junction box is just the fuse box. It's weird that that's not there. The IPS or the instrument panel or instrument cluster it's not listed here that would be ideal for me to be able to talk to that and I mean all the gauges and everything works yeah I have a tack gas gauge is working shifter indicator no problem we could do a little bit more research but I really feel like maybe our time would be better spent going after these BCM fuses. I agree. I mean, no reason to, you know, kill it just yet. Yeah. Um, Can I move your truck? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to do some musical cars. Here. Yeah, no, I can move it for you, too. Um, just real quick, Danner, while you're here. Yeah. Check this out. Come sit next to me for a second. So I'm just looking at looking at the network and the way it talks and you see all the greens and oranges yes. and you see the blue and red. Yes. So the blue and red's a different network. Okay. Instrument cluster is the gateway for that. See how the green and orange and blue and red come together? Okay. Yep. And see the BCM is on the blue and red circuit, not the green and orange. Okay. There's no direct connection to the data link connector to the BCM. I got to go through the instrument cluster oh. to talk to the BCM. Okay. Just pointing that out. Um, the smart key control, uh, my thought I was- I couldn't talk to that either. Well, it doesn't exist because okay. it says it's a push button. The push button has the smart I key. got it. So I, I was gonna see if I could talk to that guy, Yeah. you know, to see if I could talk to anything on this network. Yeah. Unfortunately, the instrument cluster is not listed okay. as a module I could talk oh. to. And neither is this IPS control module. I don't know what the IPS control module is. Would you know what that is offhand? IPS. I mean, I would think instrument panel if I didn't yeah. see instrument cluster right next yeah. to it. But I don't yeah, have yeah. instrument cluster to talk to, and I don't know what the IPS is. And I just said to Caleb that I think maybe our time served right now, rather than trying to answer those questions, would be uh, let's check the main powers to the BCM first. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't know why... Um, maybe, honestly, maybe that's why we don't have messages in any of the other ones, because the only one that cares is the instrument cluster, as far as Since the... If we can't talk to it, we wouldn't know if there's a code in there. Well, correct. I don't yeah. have, I don't have a method, at least on this scan tool, to talk to the instrument cluster. This might be one where maybe I pull the Autel out. I wonder if you can, yeah. I mean, that would maybe only just give us direction. I hope you guys are following. I'm just trying to find direction. Where are we going? It would be really helpful to talk to that instrument cluster. Yes, yes. And um, that might answer our question as, hey, why yeah. is this BCM's not talking well, to us? that makes sense though, what you said, how it switches to a different kind of network and, coming out of it. And I'm cluster. only basing that off wire colors. I didn't go any further to see which, you know, Obviously the green and orange is high speed because that's on the PCM and all that other stuff. And you know, the BCM just is not something that needs to be on real time. You know, turn your lights on, they're on. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need what to be any just, faster like, than that. The dashboard and see if it starts Where, Well, where's the BCM uh, at? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm all good for that. All right, I just wanted to show you that. Okay, no, that's M neat. Move the truck. We'll move the truck. All right. All right, what are we doing? Um, I want to get a location of the BCM first. Okay. Which I need a little bit more service info for that. Center of the dash. BCM's in the center of the dash, Caleb. Center? Center so, of dash. <laughs> so, hit it. <laughs> well, it might be like down low. Yeah. So me beating on the top of the dash is probably not not gonna do it. I mean, I'm not opposed to you know. Just try it. Yeah, I'll 
turn the here, get a shot yeah, of this. Me... All right, so it does say center of the dash, and I told Caleb, I, I don't know, it could be down low, and this is a waste, but I want to try it. So get a shot right here. Turn the hazards, and <laughs> no, <I don't>... <laughs> Danner's <laughs> laughing. I got a rubber mallet. <laughs> no, what? Well, it says center of the dash, but it doesn't say where. It, okay. it might be way down there. <laughs> All right, let's get a better location. I know a lot of you are thinking, check the damn fuses already. I'm with you, man. If I wasn't filming, I mean, if I wasn't filming and, and I'm at a repair shop and I'm trying to get stuff done, that is absolutely the first thing that we're doing. I mean, a lot of you guys have been following us long enough to know that uh, I'm teaching and I'm teaching systems and designs and you know the stuff that we just reviewed with the instrument panel being the gateway and two different networks, all good stuff, all good stuff. So I agree, get with the program, check the fuses, we should do that. Um, I just found a factory diagram for the BCM which is nice because it actually shows me the internals that the um, yeah, headlight, headlamp switch is there for sure, Caleb. And the headlights work. Yeah, the horn relay is controlled, absolutely. And my horn does work. So the BCM is not dead. Is not dead, dead. This has an, a separate diagnosis line, too. I did not see that. Diagnosis K line, where does it go? This diagram sucks. Dude, it's so blurry. I know. Front wipers on there, front wipers work. Okay, nothing new there. Uh, description operation. Receives various inputs. Front washer, interlock wiper, front intermittent wiper, mist wiper, rear wi washer, hazards, turn signals, fog lights, daytime running lights, headlights, door locks. Yeah, and some of this stuff is working. Removal, where is it? Disconnect negative terminal, remove the crash pad lower ca uh, panel. The crash pad? Crash pad, it says refer to crash pad. We can do that in a second. Remove the BCM A after removing the nuts. So it looks like it's facing down. It's gonna be underneath us. It's not gonna be up high, I don't think. Remove the nuts. Oh, what's the crash pad? Let's go there. What? Okay. This thing's buried, Caleb. It is up top. That's not cool. It's up top? Well, here's here's your crash pad components. I don't even know what a crash pad is. I, I guess this big freaking panel in front of us. Remove the cluster fascia panel cap. Loosening mounting screws, unscrew. So you gotta take the instrument cluster out. Remove crash pad garnish cap B. This is the crash pad here too. This whole this whole piece. Crash pad lower panel replacement using a screwdriver. So that's on the side. That's down here. This is not a small procedure here. Oh, remove crash pad lower panel. Okay, I feel better about that. Lower panel, That's easy. yeah, we should be able to get to this BCM. All right, Caleb, I'm sorry. And to the rest of my community, I am sorry. We can do a lot more digging. I'm kind of learning an unfamiliar system. This is, this is what it takes, you know? And I, I realized that uh, we could be a little bit more efficient with our time here. So I'm gonna go back to our diagrams. We're gonna check some of these main fuses to the BCM. We're gonna start there. Okay, so that's instrument panel, junction box, under left end of the dash. So I think Danner was already playing around down there. Um, that is the plan. All right, just using a test light for, for these initial checks. I'm not gonna pull the fuses out just yet. Something to think about though too is the contact inside. I need a good ground. Why are we missing a fuse? There's a fuse missing. Do you know what fuse it is? I'm looking now, son. 
says PDM 25. Oh, there's an empty slot. So there's a slot. It's this one right there. So P PDM A is 25 amp. Then there's an empty space. Then the fog lamp, which is a 10. So that's intentionally missing, it looks like. All right, so we want to go cluster fuse first, which is where it's the 10 amp one all the way up top this guy right there and that should be hot in on or start and i may have a bad ground on my light no dude my cluster fuse is dead well that wasn't hard <laughs> Is the fuse blown or is it... It's not hot on either side. That's... That cluster fuse is not powered. Unless I'm not making contact. Uh, I wasn't making contact. Oh. Uh, is it working now? Yeah. Both sides are lit. Ignition 2A, which is right below that. Right below the cluster fuse. Ignition 2A. It's a 10 amp. Check that one. good both sides of the fuse a smart key one fuse 10 amp so that's this guy hey Ford are you taking note this is how you mark a fuse box not just with numbers put it on there for me smart key one so third row over second 10 amp one up should be this guy hot on both sides the hazard fuse where does the hazard fuse go to uh, right to the VCM so where is this hazard fuse you'd think it'd go to like the hazard switch or something they're calling it a hazard fuse but it's, it's this guy right here so third row over two up from the spot that's missing fog lamp this should be hazard fuse right there good and good and then the room fuse it's hot all the time 10 amp where is the room fuse i don't see a room fuse what does the room fuse do uh, that for like not sure offhand it might be the interior lights probably that's what I thought. there's no room fuse listed here yeah the room fuse is also memory power for the bcm and it's a 10 amp Oh, there it is. Room fuse. Right in front of my face. All the way up top. 10 amp, third row. That's working. Both sides. So all of those are good. And those are all the ones that were not, like, not working? No, those are all the ones that we that need to be powered up for the BCM to do its job. Okay. And they're all good, unfortunately. Unfortunately for us, they're all good. I got to go to the BCM. I got things that aren't working on the BCM that should be, and you know, to make a call on the BCM, to make a call on any module. You gotta be sure. Yeah. Like it just got stupid, and we just gotta find it. Um, you know, we could pull the fuses too, Why would we do that? in case they're making bad contact inside. Oh, gotcha. But I, I honestly, I feel like I, I moved them enough. You just checked all of them. Uh, but I, I mean, I moved them enough to where um, it would have maybe made contact. Oh, I understand. What is this? There's something in here that is after, aftermarket. What is this? It's tapped into this too. Never like to see that. Yeah. It's like one of those transponders that when you buy a car. Are they like remote shut your car off? They do, yep. Crazy. Yep, I don't know what it is. I don't like it. 
Uh, I'm gonna kick myself if I don't pull the fuses, Caleb, and there's like corrosion on the back of the fuses. So I'm just gonna grab a pair of pliers real quick. Pliers. No corrosion on the fuse. First one. Just to keep myself from getting burned. Like that Mercedes that I got burned on. I mean, I, I found it. It made for a good video. No problem with that one either. This isn't gonna be our problem. Everyone's all big on pulling fuses and I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, rarely find a problem here. If your fuse tests, tests good on the back side, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, it's fine. But I guess that 1.1 1 .1 of a percent chance, you know? Yeah. You gotta check it. And those that swear by it, you, you know, you really can't argue it. I just feel like we're wasting our time. Really do. Room fuse. No problem. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you want to do it that way, um, right now I'm like in the middle of a bunch of stuff. Uh, that? That's the first time I heard the key chime at us. Yeah, what key Is our four ways, see if our, our four ways working yeah. now? Yeah. They are, son of a bitch. What fuse was that? That was the room fuse. Can try the turn signals. Well, the four ways are now working. Yeah. And we didn't have a key chime until I pulled that fuse. But here's the problem, right? When you pull that fuse, you're taking power away from the, the PCM and you're repowering it. It's kind of like your PlayStation when it gets stupid and you reset it. So I don't think that was an issue with the fuse because it looked fine. It was me resetting the BCM. So now, now everything's working. Let's see if we got rear wipers. Get it. Yep, got turn signals now too. Let me get a shot. Get the rear wipers. All right, and that was the room fuse that did that. Um, let me look at that fuse one more time and be a little bit more uh critique it just a little bit more i'm pretty certain though that that fuse looked okay yeah i mean it's got nice shiny marks on it where the contacts were it's not corroded so i believe it was not a contact issue with this fuse it was just me simply taking power away from the BCM and then repowering it. Yeah. And so now proving a BCM fault is gonna be impossible because it's now working. Yeah. Um, although we might be able to get lucky and do a tap test on it and make things work and not work. That's really our only, our only shot. The dome lights are on. Right. Yeah. Power door locks are now working. Yeah. So the room fuse on the wiring diagram is a memory power. Weird. What does that mean? Um, it's, it's a power feed for the VCM, but they're calling it memory power. So like for a radio, you'd have memory power that would keep your stations and remember what you were listening to. So key off power, you know, memory power. All right, so this is to all of you guys who swear on pulling fuses and why I don't like to do it. Um, where we are right now, Caleb, is what I would have done next instead of pulling fuses and looking at them. I would have gone to the BCM and checked powers there 
And if we had a fuse problem, what would we be missing on um, this first pin on memory power on the diagram? We would have been missing power there. And then I would have backed back up to the fuse. But now that you're messing with but, the fuses. Well, now that, yes, exactly. Now that I messed with the fuses, it leaves a question. Yeah. Was it a fuse contact problem? Or was it because I powered down the BCM and powered it back up again? And so that's why I don't like pulling fuses right there. A classic example of why I don't like pulling fuses. Yeah. I don't think the fuse was the issue. I really don't. It looks fine, um, but there's my argument. All right, now we got to find this BCM. Center of dash. Yep. Danner, yeah. real quick. Um, checked all the fuses, it's all good. I started pulling them just to check. Pulled the room fuse, which is a memory power for the BCM. Yes. Yeah. Plugged it back in, everything works. Everything. But it's, yes. That's, I, but it's not a fuse problem. Like, I, and I was just telling Caleb why I don't like pulling fuses. Yeah. Is now it leaves a question is, was that a contact issue and I yeah. made it work yeah. or was it me unpowering the BCM by pulling the fuse yeah. and then repowering it, like rebooting your computer yeah. when it yeah. gets stupid. And I believe it's the latter because that fuse looks fine. You so I'm gonna get to the BCM and try to do some tap tests and see if I can make it act up again. I mean, that's all I'm left with because yeah. now everything works. And now I, I yeah. missed my window of accurate true testing, which, which is power be... and ground checks at the module while it was broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why we don't pull fuses. <laughs> so now I'm frustrated, Caleb, because I missed a prime opportunity, you know? It was broken. I need it to be broken. I, I need it to be broken to accurately troubleshoot this. Still not broken. Our lights are still on. Yes, as long as our interior lights are working, it is not broken. And that can be our guide. is that looks like next to that guy two bolts on the side oh yeah that is it okay found it so this module right here this is my BCM. It's got connectors on the bottom and up here on the side. And that is just above the gas pedal. I had to take some stuff out of the way to get to it, but that's it. All right, so now what we can do is as I'm tapping on it, maybe we can, with any kind of luck, we can get these, these lights, to shut, lights to shut off. In fact, what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna start the car just to keep the charging system up and you know I'm, I'm sure this failed while she was driving it and uh here we can keep the four ways on too although nobody wants to hear that clicking going on do they it's not that loud i think it could be helpful to keep the four ways keep on. the four ways on yeah and then just kind of do some wiggling of these connectors see if we can make this thing wig out on us A little tap test on the box itself. Yeah, so what's the answer? How do you how do you call a bad BCM? You know? When everything's working. Nope. No such luck. No such luck. I'm gonna pull this room fuse back out again and have a look at it. Yeah. 
Wait. Why are my four ways still working with the room fuse removed? Maybe because they were already on. Try to turn them off and then turn them back on. Right? Nope. That's strange. This fuse box is perfectly fine. And my turn signals are working too. That's with the room fuse removed. That. And that's the one that kicked everything back on. Uh huh. So. Yeah, and that's the being a memory fuse. You know, you were asking me about that, and it, it really didn't make sense for it to be a memory fuse that would have done that, but it was enough to um, kind of jar this BCM to uh, come back to life. So that was with room yeah. fuse removed and everything still working. Yeah. How weird, huh? So does that verify for you? I think it, it verifies for me that it's not the fuse box, for sure. Um, you know, you could argue that it was maybe one of the other ones. There was one other, so it was room, cluster, ignition two. What was the fourth one? Hazard, the hazard fuse. And they look, this fuse box, it looks perfectly fine. So with the hazard, it's act blinking real fast with the hazard fuse out. Turn signals still work with the hazard fuse out. So it's a power, it's not, you know, all the power, you know? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, Caleb, it was the moment, like nothing was working until I pulled the room fuse out. And then as soon as I plugged it back in, that's when we got the door chime. Yeah. Interior lights came on. I mean, at this point, there's not really much else I can show you or anyone else. Um, I, you, you need it to break again. Um, there's no reason to check powers and grounds on a module that um, is working fine. That's, those are the final checks when it's broken to make it be definitive in the call. And, and is there enough evidence to call the BCM? Um, I think that there is. If I'm working in the field, I probably would do that right now. Just call it. Yeah, I might do a little bit of digging and see how common the part is and see if it's available. And all that stuff can give you, you know, good direction. I just don't know how at this point I'm going to prove it to you guys, which is rather unfortunate. But I believe the, you know, just pulling the fuse and plugging it back in made it wake back up just kind of a reset type thing with a module sometimes heat you can get heat to help you out heat and vibration let's tap on it one more time You know, now that it's now that it's talking to us, uh, let me just pull, see if I can get codes out of it. Yeah, it's talking now. So your scans. Yeah, and that's the other no codes, and that's the other part about it too is the fact that it was not communicating. But half of the stuff was working. Headlights were working. Front wipers were working. Yeah, there's no history codes, no current codes. So I'm just looking at this battery voltage PID. What do we do, Caleb? I don't know, man. <sighs> I need Danner. I need a suggestion from him. I think we're about done. 
at least for now. You think it's going to be a comeback? Uh, well, it, it will come back. I mean, it, it didn't fix itself. You know, it's going to happen again. Yeah. Um, it's kind of waiting on it to happen again. Yeah, pretty much. Um, just we're kind of at a standstill because everything I don't work. Everything works, and I can't prove it. There's no reason for me to pull the module down and check powers and grounds yeah, at this point. It's working. So at least. Do, do we want to talk about this? The Renaissance Festival. Yeah. I bought one for me and Elijah, so I have a pair. I only have one <laughs> ear pierced, but I stole it because he was playing baseball, and then I, you know, I put it in so he wouldn't hurt himself. So he's like, "You going to work that way?" I'm like, "Yeah, I might as well." So it's pewter. It's or whatever. been back in the day. We used to all wear them big, long, you yeah, know, know, dangling earrings. You fix that one. What? You want to fix that one? Fix what one? That one that's beeping all by itself. Oh, no. <laughs> Tip them. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think we're done. I don't, unless you have another suggestion for me, like the only thing I did, and we redid the test. I pulled the room fuse back out and everything still works with the room fuse out. It's a memory fuse. Oh. So it's kind of weird. I mean, which proved it's not the fuse is yeah, my point. I got gotcha. you. Like we pulled the room fuse and I could still work the hazards and turn signals with the room fuse removed. In fact, the hazard fuse, I could, the hazards would work, but they'd blink fast with the hazard okay. fuse out. And that's two other feeds to the BCM. So the memory fuse was the one that made it wake back up. Yeah. But I, I wonder pulled. if it had like a dead battery and like a jump start issue that maybe it never woke up. I don't, I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, at this point, there's nothing you can do. There's it nothing works. I can do. Yeah. It works, and we tell Lenny what we what we found, and tell him if it happens to hit him again to pull that fuse and put it back in and yeah. bring it back. I, I, yeah. Right? Is that? That's pretty much at, it. At this point, do we sell a BCM? I don't think so. No, I, not, I, not yet. If it's my car, I'm going to drive it till it does it again. Yep. Yeah. All right. Sounds good to me. All right, bud, I'll be in touch. All right, well, that's what I'm okay. leaving off with. And okay. it sucks for all of us, but it is what it is. And I'm not going to sell a BCM yet. No. But I mean, see, I the think the evidence is... When you post this, someone might have seen it and will... True, but I may, not, <laughs> I may not post it till we get uh, part two and get this car back. Okay. Well, I don't know. Whatever. It's footage. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay, thanks, Danner. Yep. Any final words? Uh, I don't know. Final words is I'm not happy right now about a diagnosis like this. Um, but you know, it, it, this is the nature of the beast and, and, um, maybe we will post this as is Caleb. I don't know. You know, I hate, I hate having an open-ended diagnosis and I'm sure there are plenty of you out there that'll, if we do post this at this point, that are going to comment underneath that this is a common issue on this car. I've not done any homework as far as um, uh, common replaced parts, research, Google, forums. I've not done any of that. Uh, and I think at this point, if I'm in a garage and I'm working, this will be a lesson to you, Caleb, and everyone else. This is the time to do that. Now is when you do your homework and your research and go online and see if this is a common uh, part that's replaced. And if it is, then, you know, make that information available to your customer don't roll the dice we never want to roll the dice and throw a bcm in a car a computer in a car but if you communicate with your customer and you tell them x y and z and this is where you are through the whole process and say listen this is a common part and would you like to start there and leave it open and make sure the customer's in the loop then you know i think that's okay so just business stuff a lot of our problems we have in our field revolve around the lack of proper communication with the customer and so uh, that's what we're going to tell my friend Lenny who owns this car that uh, um, tell him what we found and give it back to him and uh, give him an idea what to do if this happens when he's stuck on the road somewhere not yeah. stuck but if he's somewhere where he's got no tail lights and turn signals he can at least wake it back up again and then get it back to us and then we go from there and you know at that point you again do your homework do your research i'm speaking a little bit out of order here because i've not done that um but uh it's never easy to call a faulty module you need to have the problem 
to be broken in front of you while you're checking main powers and grounds and communication lines before you ever call a module and uh, we just don't have that opportunity right now and so we cannot accurately do that so I don't know I hope you guys learned something I don't know if there'll be a part two to this or not hopefully there is we'll see Thank you so much, Caleb. Thanks for being here. Danner, thanks for letting us use your shop. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next time.